Where are you in danger on the street as a kid? In danger? Yeah. Ah, I didn't, I didn't realize those those moments. You know, I was a kid. You know, I didn't care about that. You know, maybe sometimes when I got beat by my, <laughs> my friends or something like this. But no, like like those little. Uh, we, we can hear the stories about Brazilian favelas and how how dangerous could it be. Yeah. Uh, you, it, you weren't living in No, yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not from a big city, you know. Uh, yeah, the, the the reality of the favelas are are different, you know, because thank God I, I didn't was in a big city and participate of that. But uh, I come from I, I'm, I come from Casador. It's a small city in Santa Catarina, the state there in Brazil. And um, our reality there was a little different, you know, and tougher because the small cities, they don't have options for you. That's why I leave the city, you know, because I, I was a poor guy with uh, 18 years old and I couldn't see opportunities, you know, because I had, I had to work to make money and help my family and I couldn't study anymore. So I said, man, I'm gonna move to another city. Maybe uh, look, looking for a, a better opportunities, you know. So that that's what I did, you know. I moved. Did you school? Yes, I, I did. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't. Uh, I don't know if it's high school, but we call uh, median uh, segundo grau. High school? Uh, no, segundo grau. No, no, segundo grau. High school. High school. How have you prepared for a fighter like Ben Rock? Especially his uh, go go choke. <laughs> I'm very well prepared for this fight, you know, we train a lot, you know, uh, for uh, not not uh, like uh, just to defend it myself, you know, from that go-go choke, but to attack him with some good skills, you know, some good boxing skills or even jiu-jitsu skills. So uh, if he come, you know, with that go-go choke, I, I'll, be I'll be ready to defend it that and maybe give him some bad times. And in that position, but um, uh, I'm well prepared. You know, we did a great camp there in Coconut Creek, uh, Florida, at the ATT. So I can say that I'm ready. Have you brought your old boxing coach back to, to your camp right now? Yeah, it's not my old box. He's uh, still my my boxing coach. You know, uh, we brought yeah I brought him because um, he knows me very well and he knows like how to motivate motivate me more. You know, and also his you know ability to to teach me boxing. You know, to push myself in the box. My boxing skills are amazing. So it was really good to be to have him uh, working with me at this time the only time I didn't have him was last time and the result wasn't good so <laughs> it was I think it was a good decision to bring him back can you, can you talk about that fight in December with Alistair over him a lot of people thought you looked a little gun shy a little timid what what, what went wrong in that fight well yeah I'm shining. <laughs> As a good boat, I'm shining. <laughs> Bo boat or bowed? Bowed. <laughs> bowed. Not bowed. <laughs> uh, well, the question was uh, how I felt. Um, uh, well, I felt bad because I lost. <laughs> no, but um, the fight was, was a tough fight for me, you know, and I was trying, I think it was a um, uh, wrong strategy, you know, maybe, you know, because what I do, all, all the time I block, I try to block the guy, you know, I don't, I, I, I put him against the cage and then I attack him, I make the fight happen. And at this time I was moving just one side, avoiding his left uh, kicks and knees, so uh, the fight was wasn't happening, you know, and, uh, and then I, I started, but I, I didn't change that. I saw that moment that, that was happening and I didn't change, so I paid the price for that, you know, so I, I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't feeling, I was, I, I was prepared, I was okay for the fight, you know, but I think it was a wrong strategy, that's it. You haven't seen some different training, you know, Julia, American top team. Yeah. What do you feel, do you, do you feel comfortable now? Or you getting what, what you're looking for and do you feel like maybe that's a, a place for you long term? 
Yeah, I think so. You know, uh, well, uh, like, like right now, it's my second uh, training camp there at ATT. You know, and I did pretty well. You know, the guys there. It's for me. It's good to be participating of a big team like them. You know, be part of that team, and also having Coach Doria now helping me. So we did a good a good camp, and uh, I, I'm learning a lot of new things. And I, I just want to put everything together, add everything to my boxing skills you know and uh, be a better fighter you know so uh, uh, let's see uh, <laughs> I'm ready to to Sunday night and uh, I think it's it, this one's gonna be my first step back to the title to my title shot what do you see in Ben Rothwell Obviously he's been around for a long time but for whatever reason he's really becoming successful as of late what, what do you see in him uh, very, he's a very confident guy you know very confident guy and puts a lot of pressure on his opponents what he did with Josh Barnett and he let his last fight was 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 really nice, you know. <laughs> was really nice that Gogo Choke works a lot, <laughs> so uh, uh, we have to avoid that for sure. But he's, uh, I, I've never, you know, had uh, like a, a personal moment with, with, with him. Like, like how I, I want to say, I wasn't, I, I've never was too close of him, you know. I used to watch his fights, and he looks like some. <laughs> Uh, like a strange guy during the fight, you know, very, a little, you know, crazy. <laughs> But uh, but he's a really nice guy, you know. Uh, we were here at uh, Croatia like two months ago promoting the fight, and I had the opportunity to get closer. And he's a really nice guy, so it's gonna be a pleasure to be competing him against him, you know. Uh, nice and tough. <laughs> I saw you playing soccer before the practice. Uh, yeah. As a Brazilian, you, you have to know to, to play soccer. Yeah, how I know. Are, how good are you in soccer? I know how to play, but I'm not good. <laughs> That's why. I'm are you fighting? <laughs> I'm not that good, you know, playing soccer. But it's good, you know, to have fun with the friends yeah. and also warm up <laughs> before the training. So, Are yeah. you playing soccer as a kid? I used to play. I was, I was uh, all the time because of my size. All the time I was uh, when people didn't know me. Uh, I was the first one to be picked, you know, the, all the time. You know, because of my size and thinking, oh, I was the first one. Hey, I want that guy. After the game, <laughs> in the next game, they said, No, I don't want that. Come on, <laughs> take it, take for your team. You know. <laughs> so uh, yeah, wasn't I wasn't I didn't play well when I was a kid. You know, soccer. And I I still didn't, don't play well, but uh, it's good to to have fun. Who wants to talk about how important this fight is for you? I mean, you talked about getting a run back to the title. Well, you've had a couple of losses lately. It would seem that this was a, a really, really important fight for you that, that you have to pick up a win here. Yeah, yeah. My, uh, like, um, yeah, I'm living uh, like a not very good moment this last time. So right, actually, right now I'm living a good moment because I'm feeling good. I'm ready for this fight, and that's what matters, you know. So I, I just want to show people that I'm still here, you know, I'm still Junior Dos Santos, I still can do like uh, really good things inside the octagon and I'm gonna show them this everything what I what I got on Sunday night, you know, and like I said, it's gonna be my first step back to the, my to the title shot and I'm, I'm, I, I feel inside of my heart that I'll be the champion again. Doesn't matter what happened, I'll be the champion again. So you, you already. Um, which Brazilian sports stars inspired you as a child when you were growing up? Well, <laughs> who are your heroes? So yeah, my heroes. Uh, I think uh, we all the Brazilians have to to agree with me. It's uh, one of the biggest heroes of our country is Ayrton Senna, and he's a whole model for all of us. So he's a um, you know an amazing was an amazing competitor, you know. So. Um, but as a, a child, I didn't play well too much things. I didn't play volleyball well. I didn't play soccer well. So uh, thank God I found my I found myself in the fight fight world, you know. Because but just with 21 years old, my first training was with 21 years old. So since before of that, uh, I con I was considering myself a not very skilled guy in the sports. <laughs> 
You saw you had many fans here in Croatia. Did that surprise you and do you expect a big support on Sunday? Uh, yeah, that was, you know, they know me a lot here. Everywhere I go, you know, there's some people talking with me, you know, wishing, wishing me luck and taking pictures. So uh, I, I'm surprised with that, you know, and I'm enjoying a lot because people are very gentle, very nice. So uh, it's been good to be here, you know, in Croatia for the first, for the first time, you know, doing the, this main event with against a really tough guy that is Ben Rotho.